What's up guys, my name is Witty, and just to clear up a little confusion before this video gets started, I have a video already describing how to upload mods on Power World, but I didn't really notice at the time my uh, ADHD was going buck wild, so we're going to redo them individually, Game Pass and Steam, separate videos, and make it a lot more streamlined and less confusing. So, I'm going to have a bunch of links in the description for you that are essentially the mod websites that I use, as well as UE4SS, which we need to actually load most of the mods. I do personally recommend doing manual installations for them all because it can get really weird with Vortex and other mod loaders. And a lot of the time things malfunction and you end up with crashes and it's just a bad thing. So UE4SS is the first link that you're gonna see in the description. And so you're going to scroll down on the GitHub page and you're going to click this button right here. Now, once this is downloaded, you can go ahead and open it and we'll keep that off to the side here because we need to actually open the local game files of Power World. You're going to right click Power World, hover over manage and go to browse local files. And then we are going to navigate to PAL, binaries, Win64. And it is this folder where you're going to drag all of this stuff over. Just make sure that when you're hovering over this folder, it says copy to win 64, and then you can let the mouse go and you're good to go. Now, as soon as you do this, open UE4SS settings at the bottom, and you're going to open this with notepad or notepad plus or whatever you decide to use as a text editor. And essentially what you're going to be looking for is this line right here. By default, yours will say true you want to instead change this to false. And this isn't necessary for all mods, but it is strongly recommended in most of them because a lot of crashing issues comes from having this on true. Now, we can go ahead and either file and save or just simply control S and you can close that completely. Now that you have UE4SS installed, you need to load your game one time just to the main menu. And we're just going to sit here for three to five seconds, make sure that we don't get a crash instantly and that kind of fun stuff. And then you can go ahead and quit back out of the game. And UE4SS is now installed. We can completely get rid of that. And we can begin searching for a mod that we, we want to use essentially. Now I am going to show you how to install a couple different mods because there are a couple different ways to install them. So we are going to head over to Nexus Mods, which is what I recommend everyone uses and you are going to find mods that you want to install in your game. Let's just say I wanted to use PAL Analyzer. I would navigate to PAL Analyzer, and as, as you scroll down here, you can read, you know, what the mod does, how it functions, what you can modify, and you'll almost always find an installation area. As you can see, we have the Vortex method, and then we have Manual, which is what we just did. So, you can see here that this mod is going to be placed in the logic mods folder and it even gives you the path so we're going to click pal content packs and logic mods and as you can see i have pal analyzer here already but this is exactly where you would place pal analyzer once you have placed it there you can load pal world and the mod should be working as intended now, there are also mods that get installed in the Windows 64 folder where you have installed UE4SS. Just as a reminder, we can get there from this page using PAL, Binaries, and Win64, and then it is the Mods folder. Now, there are a lot of mods that end up getting installed here. The example I'm going to give is less restrictive building. This is one that I personally recommend everyone uses. So this is one of those mods where you would go to Files, you would manually download it, and once it is downloaded, the files will be installed into this mods folder instead. And this is something you can see under installation right here. You're going to have to install UE4SS signatures if you're having issues with the mod, but if not, you paste it into mods, as you can see here, and then some mods will recommend you to change the mods.txt folder. This isn't so much a recommendation as a requirement. So if I open this mods.txt folder, which is in the same exact folder that we're in right now, the mods folder. As you can see, I have less restrictive building right there. Now, it is very important that you essentially type this exactly how it appears in the description for the mod, because as you can see here, most of these have a space for the colon, whereas less restrictive building does not. 
If you add that space, not only will you be getting crashes more, more than likely, but the mod won't work for sure. So you need to make sure you read everything very carefully, take your time. It is important if you don't want to have to verify the integrity of the files or completely reinstall the game. That is essentially how most of your mods are going to be installed, and there's really not much else to talk about. So hopefully this was able to help you guys, and hopefully there was less ADHD involved and it was more clear. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one, which will most definitely be the Game Pass installation. So, peace.